Hello, and this is Orca Commander, and I am trying to put together a backlit mod for one of these old Game Boy Colors. And this is a conversion cable to put one of these Game Boy Advance SP-101 LCD screens into a Game Boy Color. The cable I got from Ben Ben is one of the prototypes uh, that's going to be a lot harder to work with than the version 2 that will be coming down the line. We're going to have to do th at least three solder points. And there is a very tiny um, little SMD resistor down here that is probably going to drive me nuts trying to work with and I'm probably going to destroy in the process. <sighs> but that's not the only thing that's got to get destroyed in the process unfortunately. So as you can see here, the Game Boy Advance SP screen is far too large for a Game Boy Color shell. Here I got a nice aftermarket, uh, nice aftermarket, sorry, I'm used to the camera being up on top of my monitor, but yeah. So here I got a nice little aftermarket shell from, uh, yeah, I got from Handheld Legend. And all this plastic is in the way. All of it. So I will have to use my Dremel and try not to do a complete butcher job on this so I can get it nice and seamless. Uh, I've seen a few of these put together so far, and I should be able to make it snug in there without interfering with the power button or anything else of critical importance. Well, for some reason, my screen seems to be a little bit larger than others. So I'm not sure exactly how much plastic I'm going to need to cut out, but I do know is, unfortunately, I'm going to lose both all four mounting posts, which is going to be rather unfortunate. Because then it's going to be a lot harder to keep the shell secure, and I'll be needing to use some duct tape or hot glue or something to keep it fully closed. Alright, so let's see if I can size this up right. I might have to cut away the little nub area in order to get this to close flush just again unfortunate because this is not supposed to interfere with the power button but I'm not seeing how that was done unless I just bought the wrong screen because all the directions show it's definitely not mounted this way otherwise people wouldn't be talking about cutting off the posts or covering up the LED socket And it certainly doesn't go like this. Not that that make a difference because it's symmetrical. Hmm. Let me take a look at the directions one more time. That's just the PCB. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to have to make it completely snug. Or am I operating on the wrong side? No, I am not. So. Maybe I should have taken apart the old my old uh, Kiwi first and to see how the PCBs lined up a bit better, but well, I have a Dremel and replacement shells are cheap since I'm not using an original shell. I'm not really risking losing anything besides an SMD resistor and the cable. So let's get started. <laughs> oh boy.
kind of like this thing with it's a large. I'm about to make smaller. Let's see things here. Oh, it's making a mess of my desk. I wish these came with smaller cutting wheels. So I'm not really getting in where I want to get into. Without really damaging the rest of the case. Oh my god, this crap is getting everywhere. Well, what can you do when you don't have a proper workshop?
All right. Well, if you excuse me for a moment, I'm going to put a cut in here and clean up all of this plastic dust that I just kicked up. So I'll be back in a minute. So you may have noticed a little bit of a longer gap there than I intended, but I had to do a lot of fine tuning with one of these. It is not easy. I will probably say that apart from the apart from that little SMD resistor, that cutting all that plastic is the hardest part of this mod. It's just there's a lot of detail work in here and the Dremel blades are large and even if you got good motor control, not very precise and because of their size. Further, I'm still not quite at a good fit in here. So uh, the plastic is bowing outwards and the screen is not laying flat. So I think I'm going to take a few more minutes before I go into the soldering work and disassembling my old uh, Kiwi before I continue with some more footage. Alright, so I'll see you back in a few minutes.